Hey guys, this is Taylor here in the Simply Me Vocal Craft Room. Today we will be reviewing the body lotion kit from Grow and Make. They have lots of great DIY kits, including other kits for home and garden, uh, bath and body, and even food and beverage, which is really exciting. Uh, so I personally love body lotion. I'm very excited to be reviewing this kit with you guys today. Uh, these kits make great gifts for friends and family. These kits uh, retail for $29.95, but we actually have our own promo code. It is TRYDIY for $5 off at checkout. Uh, we'll put that information down in the description box below. Uh, make sure to try that out and make sure to check out Grow Mix's um, website. It's beautiful. Um, okay, so we are going to get started here on this box here in a moment. I just want to make a note at how unique their boxes all are. They all feature the actual uh, products that are inside of their box. So for instance, this one is lemon and lavender because those are the two scents that you get in this box for your body lotions. So the back of this box actually features all of the ingredients and the materials that are in this box as well as a cool little um, bio about Grow and Make themselves. Uh, so we are going to be unboxing this together uh, and going through everything that's in this in this kit. So first we actually have the body lotion making kit. Um, it looks like a pamphlet. So you actually get all of the ingredients here as well as the instructions. So we'll be going over this a little more in detail uh, when we go to actually make the body lotion. And uh, I have my scissors here because we're gonna have to unpackage some of this stuff. So it looks like we have two of our body lotion uh, bottles there. A funnel. essential oil and the lavender essential oil. We have the stearic acid, some potassium sorbate, some emulsifying wax. This is going to get very uh, chemistry lab-esque. Um, and we have citric acid as well as some labels for our bottles for when we're finished. So they pretty much hook you up with everything that you need in this one box. Again, these would make great gifts for family and friends, especially for the holidays coming up, or if you want to try a new craft, uh, this would be a great way to kind of enter into that. I've never made body lotion before, but who knows, by the end of this I may you know, venture into a new craft and this may be my new thing. So uh, stay tuned, we're going to head over to the stove next and get started. Now we're here at our stove here in the kitchen. Um, we do have all of our supplies over here and ready to go. We also have the two pots and the two different spatulas that it recommends. It recommends not um, combining the two. So the first pot, we are going to add two and two thirds uh, tablespoons of emulsifying wax, four teaspoons of stearic acid, and two and two thirds tablespoon of oil of our choice. The oil that I'm choosing today is coconut oil. So I am going to take our bag of emulsifying wax first and cut this guy open and pour it in. I'm also going to take four teaspoons or yeah, teaspoons of stearic acid. Pour that in. And then also my coconut oil. And pour that in. I'm gonna kind of turn down my fire there a little bit. And it says heat the first pan with the oil mixture, turning it on medium heat. And then the second pan where we put our water has to have um, the heat on high. So next we're gonna work on that. The second pot, we're gonna do one and two thirds cup of water with one teaspoon of potassium sorbate. So we measured our two and two, no, one and two thirds cup of water. It's gonna go in this one. And we're gonna heat this guy up on high. I believe this one has to get just to boiling. And then I'm gonna try and remember to keep stirring this guy here. Okay, the potassium sorbate is up next with the water. It says heat both pots simultaneously, stirring each with its separate utensil and remove the first pot with the oil from the heat immediately after the wax is melted. So our wax looks nice and melted now. We're gonna go ahead and remove that from the heat. 
we're gonna get the, this guy kind of start to boil. It says remove the second pot with the water mixture from the heat right before it begins to boil and add the one teaspoon of citric acid to the pot with the water mixture and thoroughly stir. It should turn white and look similar to curdled milk. So we're gonna wait for that to get close to boiling. So the wax looks great over here. It's nice and melted. Looks really good. We've got that one sitting over to the side without any um, without any wax left uh, solid, so it's all melted, which looks really good. I'm just gonna keep kind of stirring that and making sure that it's not going to uh, go bad or get solid on us, I should say, not go bad. I keep stirring this as well and just make sure that we're, we're getting there with that. It's gonna be boiling here soon. So after um, the water mixture turns to the curdled milk, once we add the citric acid, uh, it says that we're gonna combine the mixtures by pouring the water mixture into the oil and stir for three to four minutes until thoroughly combined. It's gonna look a, li a little bit like skim milk, is what it says. Also says for the tip, we recommend using distilled water to avoid adding any unwanted pathogens or minerals. You can also substitute rose water, wa rose water witch hazel, aloe, or other based water-based products for the water portion of this recipe. So that's cool that you have options. Okay, it looks like we're just about boiling on this pan, so let me go ahead and add in that citric acid. It says one teaspoon of citric acid to the pot. So we're gonna pour the one teaspoon in. Next, it wants me to combine the mixtures by pouring the water into the oil mixture and then stir for three to four minutes. So I'm gonna bring back my oil here. And I need to grab a pot holder to make sure that that looks good. Grab my pot holder and I'm gonna pour. I guess this is just a dish towel. This technically is not a pot holder. There we go. stir for three to four minutes until thoroughly combined. So it's supposed to look like skim milk at this point. One thing I want to note is that when you add the citric acid to the water, there's a very potent, very strong smell um, that kind of uh, makes it difficult when you're breathing it in. Um, and it kind of makes you want to cough a little bit, at least it does for me. So you may want to turn your kitchen your vent on uh, above your stove to kind of help alleviate with some of that smell. Uh, we didn't have it on for recording purposes, but it would probably be a good idea for when you do this at home. Uh, for the next three to four minutes, I'm gonna continue to stir this up, uh, but just keep in mind that this actually may not set for 24 full hours. And for about two hours after we're done doing this, uh, we're gonna be putting them into these mason jars and, and shaking them up for about two hours. And then after that, you can add your essential oils, anywhere from one eighth of a teaspoon to one fourth of a teaspoon per bottle of lotion. Um, like I said earlier in the product portion of this video, they gave us lemon and they gave us lavender. Hey guys, so we are all done with our review of the body lotion kit here from Grow and Make. Don't forget to use our link down in the description box to head over to growandmake.com. And don't forget our promo code TRYDIY for $5 off of this box. Um, also, please head over to our Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest to follow us. We also have a YouTube channel. Go there and hit subscribe. And don't forget to visit simplymadelocal.com to subscribe to our newsletter where you will find out everything that Simply Made Local is doing uh, today and in the future. Thanks for listening and thanks for watching. Have a good day.